Oh! Yo! Get beasted! What is going on you guys? It's your boy Ferg here back again with another brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. Before this video starts, I just want to say thank you so much for the support on both this channel and my secondary streaming channel. We got 12,000 subscribers today on this channel and we got 6,000 on my second channel. That is crazy. I've never seen ever, I've never ever seen those like kind of numbers in all of the games that I've been like number one on the leaderboards or anything like that I've never seen like anything come even close to that the most before that was 5,000 in rules of survival in one day but 12,000 in one day and then 6,000 on my second channel thank you guys so much for that either way we're gonna be talking about ranked today now obviously you guys may or may not know if you're watching this video that I am currently number one on ranked and I have been since this game was released um, I was also number one in the preseason, and I have been legendary three times in this. In preseason one, a beta, and obviously this is season one. So I've been legendary uh, three times. With that, I have some tips for you guys to be able to rank up faster to get to legendary rank or whatever rank you want to get to. So without further ado, like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications if you want to be notified of when I upload a video because I do so here on my channel every single day and I also live stream every single day on my second channel, link down below. Also, at the end of the video, I will show a full ranked match game that I played last night on stream, just to give you guys some kind of feel of how good players are on ranked, and to further your understanding on how to play ranked. So straight away, since I'm legendary rank, and maybe if you're not legendary rank and you just want to win fast as possible, like what this video is about, you're gonna want to get a five stack. That's right, a five stack is basically picking up four of your friends to create a five man lobby or party and playing with them. Now, obviously, some some of your friends might be bad, some of them might be good, but what I did was I joined a couple Discord servers and I basically asked people to play in the pre-seasons and got to know people and got to have a couple of friends. Obviously, I have a ton of friends that are already legendary rank and I've got some friends that are obviously like pros in the scene that are getting contracted already by professional organizations to play this game and stuff. Tip number one is definitely you need to be playing with teammates. You need to be getting friends i know it's tough out here i don't have much friends myself it's really hard out here making friends but for real you need to be playing with a full five man maybe on a discord call if possible i mean discord calls are really really good you can communicate really well about where uh, the enemies are and how you guys want to go about tactics and strategies on Discord's calls. So I definitely recommend joining a Discord and also getting yourselves a five-man stack. Now, if you ever hear anyone saying five stack, that's exactly what it means. It basically means like five people in a lobby. And if you ever hear somebody say they've got a stacked team, that means that their team is like one of the best teams in the game. And like you do not want to verse that team because they are so stacked with talent. But yeah, that's tip number one. Get yourself some friends. Get a team going. Get on a Discord call or use in-game mic. I also have a Discord, so if you want to join it, the link's down in the description. But anyway, on to tip number two. That is your loadouts. You're gonna you're gonna want to create the best loadout possible. And I've decided that I am gonna share with you two of my loadouts that I use on ranked every time I get on. Now, if we click on loadout, obviously you guys have already seen my sniper class. I made a video on it, but if we go to class number two, here is my AK117 Star Camo class. This is the loadout that I use for those mid to long range maps where I I feel like this gun really excels. As you can see, I've got a quick draw, a foregrip, and an extended mag on my AK-117. My secondary is just the Karambit Man. I use it for style points. After I kill someone, I wing it out and then put it back in my in my pocket. Either way, the perks are Flak Jacket, Toughness, and Dead Silence. You always want Dead Silence. If you're not using Dead Silence, people can literally hear you across the map. People like me who have headsets like this will be able to hear you really, really far distances and be able to pinpoint exactly where you are on the map no matter what. So you need Dead Silence when you're playing ranked. As soon as you unlock Dead Silence, you're going to want to put it on. Hardened or toughness as it's called in this game is absolutely necessary I feel like in ranked because your flinch is going to be insane people on ranked will lock onto you faster than you've ever seen before especially when you get up to the tiers like master and legendary because people up in the tiers like master and legendary are literally playing like me like you guys think I am like really good at this game there is other players 
that might just be as good as me in this game. You know what I mean? Like, there is a lot of really good players, talented players that are just not known in the community yet. And I just got really lucky uh, with you guys really supporting me a lot, so I appreciate that. Also, Flak Jacket. I use this on any class that I'm not running around really, really rapidly on because it obviously helps uh, to deal with explosions. And people really like to throw nades. They like to do RPGs and trip mines and everything like that in ranked. And it's really annoying. So you're going to want to have a perk like Flak Jacket on to be able to basically defend yourself against all of the explosions. So with that being said, let's go on to the second loadout. It is the Type 25. Oh, this is pretty much the same loadout. It is literally pretty much the same loadout. If not, I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same, except all it is is a different gun. And the Type 25, although it is very, very good, I actually only really use it in the really close range kind of maps. Um, for example, if we were going to go in and we were going to play Kill House TDM in a ranked game, I would use the Type 25 or a Sniper. But if we were going to play Crossfire um, in a game of ranked, maybe Crossfire Dom, if you don't know what domination or Dom is, it's Domination. I would use the AK-117, but yes, this gun is the gun you want to be using if you're going to be playing a close range map that's respawn game mode, or even a search and destroy game mode. Respawn game mode means that you respawn a couple times, or infinite times, like Team team Deathmatch, Hardpoint, Capture the Flag, um, Domination, all of those good things, and then a no respawn game mode is just search and destroy. But yeah, as you can see, I forgot to mention in the last class that I have Trophy System on, and um, Trophy System's really good for Domination if you're holding or trying to capture a flag, it's really good for search and destroy if you're trying to plant a bomb and somebody's trying to need you off it, if you're also holding an angle it's great for search and destroy and team deathmatch there's a lot of camping that goes on so it's great for obviously stopping explodes from killing you and then war machine war machine's just the best specialist or operator it's called in this game in my opinion it's just by far the best so with that being said let's get on to tip number three Okay, so tip number three is score streaks. You guys want to be rocking the correct score streaks, and the score streaks that you definitely want to be using is UAV. If you want to win ranked matches, you need to be using UAV. You need to get your whole five stack or your whole team or whoever you've got as your friends in your party to be using UAV because what UAV does is when you get four kills, you can flick the switch and it comes on, I believe, for 30 seconds to one minute and you will be able to see your opponents on the minimap. I mean... How good is that? You know you've basically got wall hack of where your opponents are as long as you're not using the perk that blocks it. But the funny thing is about the perk that blocks it, if we go on to the loadout, as you can see right here, it's actually in the same class as toughness. Now, you guys know about toughness. It's ghost, as you can see right here. Toughness is basically essential in this game if you're taking 1v1 gunfights. Now, if you don't know, you can't have two of the same uh, perk class on your loadout. So you can only have Toughness, or you can have Ghost. So there's not going to be very many people rocking Ghost. So UAV is going to be so, so useful for you guys if you want to rank up into Legendary League. Because you're going to be able to kill people so much easier. easier sorry, And you're going to be able to find out where they are, basically with your wall hack UAV. Um, but either way, let's go back onto score streaks. I also use counter UAV sometimes, uh, but not all the time. It's just really good because it blocks their UAV out. And if you shoot a gun that's not silenced, you actually come up as a red dot in the UAV if you didn't know. And this obviously stops that from happening because it's a counter UAV. Sometimes Predator is really, really good. It's good for domination or search and destroy if you want to um, get them off a bomb or off a flag or anything like that. Predator is insane. I actually use um, VTOL over counter UAV, but just for the sake of you guys i feel like counter uav would be a lot better and um, one score streak that i would say never ever use is airdrop i know that you guys are probably thinking why would you not use airdrop it might give you a vtol warship if you're lucky but the fact of the matter is if you're playing domination that's a 20 second deficit of time that you're that you're taking away from your team in order to collect your airdrop because remember you need to call it in you need to wait for it to drop you need to pick it up and then you need to call in the streak that it gives you and by all means it could give you a freaking hunter killer it could give you a molotov like, what good is that for 20 seconds wasted on the map? You could have went and captured a flag for those 20 seconds. So do not, please, do not use airdrop. It's really, really bad. Don't use airdrop in ranked. It's great for public matches, though. So you can keep using it in public matches by all means. So with that being said, that's going to wrap up the tips that I have for you guys today. Make sure to stay towards the end of the video to see the ranked game. I basically is the end of the video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and like. I'm going to go ahead and roll the ranked gameplay. Thank you so much for the support on this channel. It has been mind-blowing. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Um, but yeah, it's been your boy Ferg, and I'm going to roll the ranked game. I'll see ya. Uh,
Jolka? What's up, bro? What's up, Demarcus? How you doing, man? What's up, PUBG Ninja? How you guys doing? Alright. We got this game on our hands. I'm gonna go up here. I don't think they're gonna go for B. They're not good enough. Wow, that's so bad. They're going for B now, okay. Alright. <clears throat> There's one there spawn scene. Nice. He's mid straight, like by the boss, dead. <laughs> I need a new gun. God, I hate when I pick up someone's gun and they have like a hollow sight on it. Yup, or a tag scope. <laughs> so bad. I just picked up my exact gun with like this, the uh, red dot though, which I like. Oh, I got another guy pushing me. He's top, like A, in the little cafe place. The top cafe though, not the bottom. He's weak, nice. Dude, someone's gonna see me kill them with this gun and be like, Oh, that gun's so good! Oh, thank you. Thanks for the getting my triad, bro. I gotta get B. We're nowhere near it, dude. Hey, A.A.V. Dude. Every time I open the door to the office, my cats just dart in here. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. Oh. There's one one shot on the C flag. Hella annoying. Come on, peek out. Go, come on. Alright. I'm gonna kick my cats out. Well, we win real quick. <laughs> Rip cats. What's up, Salil? How you doing, man? What's up, Leon? What's up, Kiz? What's up, Saucy? How you doing, bro? Welcome back to the stream. We're playing ranked right now, so I can't really talk to the chat. I apologize, but I really wanted to stream me playing ranked because so many people were asking for it, so I can uh, I can stop getting asked for it in the mornings when I stream. I'm probably going to do two streams a day, to be honest now. I'll do a ranked stream and then do a normal public match stream. Let's call in this UAV. Alright, they all went for V. Alright. Nice, triple. Nice. Whoo! You love to see it, chat. Let's call it in. Nice, nice. Thank you here for uh, to whoever who just subscribed, by the way. Appreciate it. <coughs> Oof. Another guy here. These guys are getting the deadly serve to them. No, no joke. Hmm. One more. Nice. Damn. Dude, they're still spawning here. Oh my god, I'm bad. Nice. Need a gun. This guy's the same gun as what? me. That guy's one shot in their spawn. Nice, that was him. Nice, dude. Dude. Nice. They're finally spawning outside of A. Nice. Oh! I didn't even see him. Oh my god, that was my only my second death. I'm so dumb, dude. So freaking dumb, dude. GG's. Easy points, boy. What's up, Karsh? How you doing, man? What's up, Doss? How you doing, bro? How to get better aim? Practice makes perfect, brother. What's up, Nightmare? How you doing, dude? You a moderator? What's up? I'm a moderator, right? Can I be a moderator? <sighs> It's harder for people to stream snipe me and caught him instead of Ross. It's not even that. It's just <coughs> caught him so much faster paced. Like, it's hard for them to even keep up with me and, and play at the same time. Even if they do stream snipe me, you know what I mean? Switch your beginner's class from your 24 hour live stream and I got my first nuke. Congratulations, dude. Congratulations, man. What's up, Lost Setti? How you doing, man? What's up, Banda? What's up, Leon? I'm playing with my friends right now, man. War Machine is so broken, it's alright. <clears throat> What's up, gaming culture? What's up, Nightmare? 
Do you prefer using snipers or ARs? Um, snipers in public matches, but I prefer assault rifles in uh, competitive. This guy's got beasted. Every single one of their players went negative. That guy went 0 and 13, dude. Why are they going 0 and 13, bro?